What's up guys? I've literally fucked up my hair for this video. I look like a slapper. Also, if you can just like appreciate the little detail on the eye makeup. It's off the new Doctor Who thing. If you get the reference, I like you. Um, if you don't, I like Doctor Who. Um, yeah. Today I'm celebrating hitting 3k and I'm taking my big camera with me but obviously it's like awkward to vlog on the underground so little mini cameras come in too. We hit 3k. I was gonna film a clip from my vlog that's like outside, but it cold and I dressed like a slapper. So, no, I think I'm a bit while I'm at uni though. Do you know, it's so tempting to just jump in that. Like, I'm a kid. Yeah, I'd definitely get in trouble if I tried to walk in the room. For the, the, the highest development so far of the Bazan, it talks a lot about the long shot, the close knit community. Hey guys, so I know that yesterday I was supposed to film this. I got a bit anxious and a lot happened and I'm gonna make a whole video explaining that. That's not what this video is about. This video is a positive thing. The end, I had to like kind of stop vlogging yesterday. I uh, got a bit upset. Filming the day after. We hit 3k, which is a big fucking deal. I can't even explain. Like, thank you for giving me the platform. And I know 3k is nothing compared to some people. Do you know what? I've never had any aspirations to do like you full time or whatever i do it for fun i do it because i enjoy doing it i like talking about things i like raising awareness it's what i enjoy doing i hit 2k at the beginning of this year um i took a break this year i got sectioned a few times this year my life went woo, given i'm getting called paranoid kind of explained what happened yesterday um like i said i will make a video talking about that i'm doing a q a this channel wouldn't be possible without you so what better way to celebrate hitting 3k than to do it with you i have my trusty diet co i haven't heard my horrible milkshake thing yet today because I didn't want to be looking at a screen, I wrote down every question I got asked. So the first question comes from vlogging with Lexi. What inspires you? So in life, this is going to sound really like self-obsessed or whatever, but myself. I keep myself going in my own life. To do YouTube, my biggest inspiration was watching YouTubers. I've watched YouTube now for over 10 years. I've made videos for over 10 years. Hey, everybody. I'm going to get a video Hey, I hate that girl. Yeah, me too. What do you think of her hair? I got a puppy! Ever since I got my first camera, I've made videos, which I was six when I got my first camera, and it broke. Don't get me wrong, I broke it, but uh, being creative in itself is something that really keeps me going. I love being creative. I wrote a book, link in the description. I make videos pretty much daily. I do a film degree. I'm currently planning a going around the world tour thing holiday next year for the summer, so I'm in the world, fingers crossed. I actually have the money to do it, so I'm like, I might do it. No anxiety. This is a question that I I'm answering in a upcoming video. You look like you've lost a ton of weight. I, I haven't, but cool. So I'm wondering how you're doing with regards to your eating disorder. The issue is, if I didn't have a cold, the medication that I'm on really, really, really suppresses my appetite to a point where I don't get hungry. My GP prescribed these milkshake things that kind of supplement food. And I am trying my best to keep my weight up. Like I am just snacking occasionally, which is helping keep it off. I'm trying guys. I don't want to fall back into eating disorder habits, but I also do want to lose a bit of weight because I'm actually currently at my highest weight. And it scares me. So I am trying to lose a little bit of weight, but I'm trying to do it healthily. I I'm not intentional skipping meals or anything. Andrew Rose vlogs. What are your thoughts on mental illness trending due to stigma in films making it seem like it's a cool thing? So I think a good example of this would be Split. A YouTuber called Dissociated um, who has dissociative identity disorder talked about how Split impacted that community and I think that video explains that very well. So I'll link that video in the description down below. Also go subscribe to her because I like her. My opinion is I think it needs to stop. I think if you're going to use mental illness in films you should research it and know about it. Brian McCauley. Does knowing you are able to inspire people and make them feel less alone make it easier to live with your illness? 
Does it make it easier to live with illness? No. Does it help? Yes. I made a video about a year ago saying I'm not an inspiration and I still stand by that video because I'm not, right? If I'm sat on the floor cutting my arms open, I'm not an inspiration. I'm struggling. If you're interested in that video, I'll try and remember to link that in the description down below. See Marie on YouTube. Do you find YouTube has been a form of therapy for you in addressing mental health? Definitely. I found making videos and documenting my life has made it easier for me and I know some people have messaged me saying it not really helped, so I presume it helps you guys too. So yeah. James King. Easy name. Yay. What's the best comment you've seen from someone you've helped with your videos? There's been a lot. I got a message the other day and I'm not going to put it on screen, but it was a, it was basically someone saying how they got told about my videos from someone in hospital and how it helped give them motivation and it was... Serenity was on the phone and I was like, um, honestly, it made me such... It made me feel so good and I can't even explain how amazing that was. Step Hunter, do you agree with putting pineapples on pizza? No. Zoe Marie XOX vlogs. What's the most irritating symptom of your mental illness and why? I'm gonna have to say dissociating. Dissociating is horrible to live with. It's really hard and I've made a lot of videos recently and there's a whole playlist on my channel about dissociation and whatever so I'm not gonna get too into that but I'll link that playlist in the description. I've got a lot to link in the description. I hope I remember. Favourite movie. So my favourite movie of all time is Girl Interrupted. The Light Holder. Have any of your suicide attempts caused trauma aka PTSD? Yes. I posted a video about my last attempt on my second channel and my second channel is always linked at the end of my videos but I'll also link this video in the description down below. It's not something I'm going to put on my main channel because it's too, it's too triggering. Yes, my last attempt caused a lot of Northern Explorer. How long have you done YouTube? So kind of professionally a year. I've done it for 10 years and it never really went anywhere. I kind of just did it for something to do back in the day. Now I do it because I love doing it. Um, so this channel I've had for four years. I've tried on it for one, two years. <laughs> What are your future plans for the channel from Stay By My Side? I don't know. Uh, next year I'm going to be starting a series where I talk a little bit about like different cultures of mental health which is going to tie into me travelling around the world. Mini Mickey. How does your eating disorder impact on your relationship with Serenity? See, Serenity always says that as long as you eat around me it doesn't matter. But that me feels really bad because I'm like I don't want to degree like get down and puffy and disorder but I can't bring myself to eat at the moment because I feel physically sick with it and I get a bit scared that it's I get a bit scared that Serenity doesn't want to tell me if it's affecting her I, I don't know Serenity you deny it but I, I reckon it does bother her awkwardly Kim what inspired you to start making videos on YouTube so I've always made videos since I got a camera. I first started uploading as soon as I discovered YouTube was a thing. And Shani asks, what's your favourite thing about living in London and how has it impacted your anxiety? So I love living in London. I had, I've got an amazing support system. I enjoy living down here. It has impacted my anxiety a lot because I have to get on the underground and the last three years I haven't got on public transport. So it's definitely impacted that. Um, but live and learn you know have you faced stigma with having mental illness yes quite a lot what's the best way way to cope when you're not doing well this was asked by jesse jesse has a youtube channel i'll link it in the description if i remember um yeah i face a lot of stigma with it mainly because i'm diagnosed with bpd and as i'm presuming a lot of you know what it is there's a lot of stigma with it. I faced a lot, a lot of stigma with it. My best way to cope when I'm not doing well is to isolate myself, funnily enough. If I isolate myself, I have a few like days to regroup, find my head, and I get back on track. Lies of Logs. Why did you decide to write a book? Uh, I was in hospital. I didn't have much to do. My phone was constantly dying, so I wrote down on everything that was going on, and I was like, I could put this in a book, and I released my book. Uh, I am now adding to my book, so edition two, end of the month, you know, first edition, link in the description. Frank Sartain. What is the most interesting diagnosis to read about? I enjoy reading about dissociative identity disorder. Yeah, I, I find it really interesting. And like I said, a YouTuber called Dissociative, Dissociated talks about like, their experience with living with dissociative identity disorder. And it's so interesting. I then fell down a spiral and I started watching other YouTubers who talk about it. I watched a lot of documentaries. And I've also done a book about it. So, ask the answer. What are your plans for 2019 for yourself and your channel? So 2019, I wanted to travel. And in traveling, I wanted and then talk about mental health around the world based on the culture and their beliefs and I really want to get into that but I want to do it while I'm in the country not sat from my, my like bedroom in London you know what advice would you give to others who are struggling to make mental illness 
speak to someone, research, educate yourself on it, know what you're dealing with, don't self-diagnose. I made, I have a website actually, and I made an entire page talking about this. Um, I'll leave a link to my website down below. It's not a blog, it's a, it's a website. I, I can't do blogs. What does friends mean to you? People who are there and supportive, not backstabbing cunts like the people I've been friends with. Are you afraid of change? If not, how do you overcome change? I love change. I absolutely love change. Like I say, moving to London, big change. Didn't impact me slightly. I enjoyed it. I love every moment of it. I like adventuring. I like trying new things. I'm very into change. Why is my phone dinging? Uh, do you answer all your comments? Unfortunately, no. I don't have the time to sit and go to every comment. But like I said, I do live streams every Monday, 9pm British time. And we talk. And I talk to you guys. And I message you on like Twitter and Facebook and whatever. I don't have time to sit and answer every comment I get. Because I get over 4,000 views a day. And if I was to answer for that I get like what 100 comments a day I don't have it sounds like I don't have the time to do that because I do a degree I'm writing a book I have a website to run I do YouTube I have two different and I live in London so I don't have the time to sit and answer every comment I really wish I did yeah so serenity my beautiful girlfriend ask on a scale of 1 to 10 how much do you love me a lot support YouTubers I, I want to say this as well this is a Facebook group for like small YouTubers and whatever and to support each other I love this group. It's so amazing. I've made, I've met so many people through it, and I talked to so many people from there. Uh, I'll try and remember to link it in the description. But the question, the one of the admins left. How far have you come regarding your mental and emotional health? Very. Like, and you said, can I do a comparison? So I'm gonna quickly tell you a clip from earlier this year that's in videos on this channel. Everything in my life that I had going on, it's kind of just crashed and burned within the space of a month. And I'm not even being dramatic when I say that. Like, okay. I got arrested and I've been kicked out of uni. I'm going to be homeless in a month. I've got no money. I don't have any food. Like, everything in my life is just completely. In regards to how much my life has changed, I am now stable. Four months. But we're in four months, guys. Um, I live in London. I'm very happy. I'm in a good relationship. I have supportive people around me, and I'm just positive. That sounds bad. I'm a lot more positive than I used to be. What is one thing that really helped you overcome your obstacles? Completely and utterly moving away to a completely different area where no one knows me. Kate Terrell, what's on your bucket list to travel the world? And I'm working on it. Child of God, how do you cope with mental illness on a daily basis? Just by taking my meds. That helps a lot. <laughs> My mum phoned. EJ Money Murray. I don't know. Do you think therapy is something everyone should go to at least once? If they need to, yes, definitely. I think therapy is very beneficial for people when they need it. What are your thoughts on medication to treat mental illness? If it's needed, it's needed. It helps. Some people have good reactions, some people have bad reactions. I have what a part of this on my website, which I'll link in the description down below. Annette Weaver, why is mental health not taken as seriously as physical illness? Both can be detrimental. They both can be detrimental, but they are both very different. I don't like the comparison between mental illness is just as important as physical illness, because if you're physically unwell, it can literally, like, that can change your life. Mental illness, yes, it can change your life, but in different ways. And mental illness, there's a lot more medication for. Like, if you're diagnosed with cancer, I just said, terrible comparison with for diagnosed cancer there's less treatment options than there are for say schizophrenia yes stage one can lead to suicide and whatever but it's not going to directly kill you give me a lip and more what is the best ways to treat mental illness medication or counseling i think both i think both work well together if one works for one one works for, works for the other one doesn't work one the other one doesn't work it is dependent on the person for me therapy is pointless it doesn't help medication does help so frida sophia what is the most common misconception about mental health conditions annoying you the most it's not real that annoys me or you're doing it for attention or it's your own fault if you could change anything about your past what would it be my ex killing himself i mean i'm like i said i'm not i'm not a sociopath uh i changed that what consoles do you own and what games do you play i have a ps3 because you know i'm, I'm up to date and everything uh, I like playing Half-Life and Portals and GTA and Beyond Two Souls, I like that game too. 
um, so the rest of yesterday's vlog is now going to resume. Sorry, anxiety is a bitch. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let us hit 5k by the end of the year, guys. Let's do it. Help me do it. Help me reach the goal. If you want to read my book, it's linked in the description down below. If you want to find my website, links in the description. Loads of things linked in the description. If you have more questions, leave them down below and I'm very happy to do Q&As, whatever. I also want to start doing like advice videos, so if you want advice on anything, let me know in the comments and, and I'll do it. Live streams are every Monday at 9pm British time. I think it's GMT at the moment. I don't know, the clocks all change. Yesterday's vlog is going to resume, there's not much footage to it. I'll explain it all in a video later on next week or in the live stream. I'll explain it in the live stream. I'm going to go because I've got an appointment this afternoon and I'll speak to you later. Peace. It's harder to do that on this camera. I don't like using this camera. Oh, this was supposed to be a positive, happy vlog. But I've been just walking out my lecture with a panic attack and now I'm crying. And now I've got to go and see my GP. <laughs> oh, I feel like such a fucking cuckoo. I'm gonna film the Q&A thing after this. I don't know, emotions get everything. Um, yeah, breaking down crying is apparently a thing that I did in the middle of a lecture. I ended up walking out. I didn't. I waited until it was. Um, they're doing a screening, so the room was dark. I just got up and left. Uh, I sent my lecturer an email saying, "Hey, uh, kind of had to the panic attack, anxiety." Um, I just couldn't, I don't even know why I couldn't deal with it. 